Hello everyone, whenever and wherever you're watching out there in YouTube land, I'm back with, I guess you could say the second part of my uh, pull list. Um, uh, as I mentioned in my last video, something happened at my shop on Friday that it was closed. So I had to go to the smaller shop to get you know the rest of my books. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get Justice League Dark because it sold out. So I'm hoping, hoping that uh, uh, the shop restocks within the next few weeks. If not, you know, I have alternatives for for sh for that. You know, going online and everything. Uh, that sort of opens doors. Uh, what did happen in my shop uh, was a signing uh, that I didn't know about. We had this last past weekend, we had a, a convention uh, which went from Friday to Sunday. But on Thursday, in my shop, I had a, um, a signing which I did not know about because I'm not online 24 7 and I'm not checking my Twitter feed every single hour so I missed that would have been cool because John Bogdanov you know the artist the Superman artist from Man of Superman Man of Steel was there and I would have loved to get a few of my uh, issues signed but you know tough luck anyways uh, without further ado, ado Let's go with what I picked up this week. Um, first up, Alcoma number 22. The uh, return of the um, Dead King continues. It's a very good issue. And you know, this series has not let down at all. I'm, I'm loving it. And you know, this is the way you do Aquaman. I know that uh, there were other attempts at it, but you know, it, they really didn't, uh, at least I'm not very interested because they're on those takes because you, know, you just don't feel like, like Aquaman should feel. Next up, uh, Flash 22. Finally, Flash meets the uh, reverse Flash, you know, after investigating the uh, mysterious murders that he's been committing. Finally, we get to... Uh, to meet the uh, reverse flash and uh, we get a little more uh, subplots there with Professor Elias, Dr. Elias, which showed up since issue one and kind of pretend to be a friend to the flash, but he's got his own little ideas. Uh, then we have uh, Teen Titans 22, very disappointing book in a lot of ways. The, the I was disappointed because the uh, whole Trigon story seemed to have stopped, you know, right in the middle. Uh, but uh, with the uh, reveal at the end, you know, that uh, actually, you know, opens up new doors. Uh, and the Clear Family with Kid Flash as well, you know. But we kind of get a, an explanation to the uh, weird. The, behavior of um, Raven you know she seemed to be bad earlier in the um, in the arc then she seemed to go good and you know actually she's bad news for the Titans but first we have to deal with Kid Flash uh, my final DC title is uh, All Star Western you know, with Jonah Hex in the 21st century. Gotham, you know, Batman shows up in, in this issue actually, and you would know it from the cover. It doesn't even uh, give you any hint that Batman guest stars. And he'll probably show up, and he's gonna be, of course, in, in issue 23 as well. Uh, again, you know, this is the great, great grandson of. Uh, you know, Dr. Arkham, uh, so uh, a little, some of that, it sort of feels a bit like the previous issues in, in, in a sense that, you know, there's a little bit of mayhem going on with, you know, an Arkham and, and Hex, you know, 
but besides that you know it's a fun issues always hope you know we get something different soon and then I picked up this um, with not having to buy Justice League Dark I thought well I'll, I'll buy something else back issue or whatever and uh, when I um, and I had a few options, you know, I wanted to try a few books. But I ended up buying The Mysterious Strangers number two. By the way, this was the only issue my uh, comic shop order because I I saw this what a couple of weeks ago that when it came out, only had issue number two. Not number one, which I find very curious. Uh, I don't know where the uh, rumor started that it may be a different story from the one in the um, free comic book day issue but you know this actually picks up from the free comic book day issue a two-part story which i really like you know the short little arcs short little stories you know uh, instead of you know sometimes those endless long arcs that sometimes you have to uh, stretch your you know um I know, I know, and since I actually liked the, uh, the story from the free comic book, I really wanted to find out what happened. So if issue 3 comes out, I'll probably buy it. The problem I have with, you know, the independent is that certain titles don't show up at my shop every, every month. The last independent I bought was uh, Echo by Terry Moore. And, you know, I had a few of the early issues, but, you know, later in the run, you know, I didn't see issues in the shop, you know, I then didn't see any issues in the shop, you know, maybe a, a month there wasn't an issue, but, you know, the next month there was. So I'm always kind of, uh, to me, independents are kind of, um, you know, big risk for me to buy. Usually the, the more in, the more dependent book in companies would be you know IDW, Image, um, a few others. You know, only press probably is more a lot more uh, dependent than some other 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 companies. You know, Valiant. You know, those are very dependent dependable companies that you know I can actually know that every month you, you get an issue in but still you know they don't order as much as the uh, Marvel or DC titles so you know those are my books for this week um, um, you know Aquaman again Aquaman Flash Teen Titans, All Star Western featuring Jonah Hex, and the uh, Mysterious Strangers. So, um, anyways, a few thing, a few things before I leave. Uh, thankfully, I've been watching the. Uh, luckily, I've been watching the uh, the uh, review videos, so I'm pretty much caught up on. What's going on in Justice League Dark? I didn't mention that before. So at least I know uh, what's been going on. And so I won't get lost when the issue, when the next part comes out, which I believe is Justice League number seven. And then we are in two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I still have a, a, a package coming in this day, this week, maybe early next week. So I'll try to do the uh, packaging the unboxing video if i don't get too excited and open it before doing the video and uh, next week is pretty light this week actually is very light for me comic book wise just to annuals so i might get a couple of back issues as well so i guess that's it for today so until next time keep smiling <laughs>